had results uh, after the bell last night. Disney, now, you, look, you see Snap is up 40%. Disney is just bouncing around. Theme parks help Disney beat profits expectations. It's also expanding its Star Wars franchise. And the company, of course, is going to transform if it manages to get 21st Century Fox. Maggie Lake is with me at the exchange. I mean, Disney cannot do right for wrong. Good results, yeah. Star Wars absolutely blew it away. Yeah. It's got 21st Century Fox on the purchase right. and the market. I mean, look, look, look. No, no, no. I, I, on a day when the market's up 300 points. You're right, you, you talked about all the positives. You know what stock we don't have up? Netflix, right? This this is the, the elephant in the room that they're all dealing with, all having to compete with. I know you love your, your numbers, Richard. Let me give you one. Please. Over the last year, Disney stock down 2.31%, Netflix stock up 88%. They've got to compete with them. It doesn't, it, investors are, are optimistic that they're starting to lay the groundwork to compete with them. They've got the content pipeline, but that is a big risk out there. The other risk, sports, ESPN. Oh, you know, I, you know, I knew uh, you. Are but, you still saying ESPN is an issue in this one? No, I didn't say they're an issue, but I said it is a discussion point because we know they paid a lot for it, and we know sports has been an anchor. Bob Iker did announce something that investors really liked. You're not seeing it reflect in the stock, and that is ESPN Plus app. $5 a month, $4.99 a month, directed at that younger viewer who no longer watches traditional television. People like the sound of that. Are they going to be able to get enough people on board to offset the decline they're seeing in traditional viewers? That jury's out, but they are starting to do something. So that's good, but investors are taking a little bit of a wait and see if you don't, If you don't Disney, you've done nothing over the last year except wondering... Perhaps an opportunity. Uh, no. People Richard? have been saying that about Disney. I I'm not saying that, by the way. I'm no. I but I did talk yeah. to an analyst this morning who likes them. He is bullish on them. He does think there, there is room to run, and he, he likes all of the content they're gathering, as you said, if they get the Fox deal done. That's still an right. if, and it's still a possibility another bidder comes through. Unlikely, but a lot of people still talk about Comcast. Even as she talks, up goes Disney. You're talking oh, about... <laughs> No, you're not. No. By the way, no. I'm not, actually. No, you're not. Let's make that quite clear. <laughs> Let's be really not, clear. No, nothing that we ever say should be taken as any indication. Because we're working it. here and not lying no. on a beach someplace, Rich. Um, 21st Century Fox, the yeah. part that's left yeah. out after the bell as well. Guess what I'm going to say again? Sports, right? <laughs> this is an issue for them as well. A lot of people think it may have been the best move Murdoch made by selling, by letting go of the emotion of it, selling maybe right. at the top of what is a media empire. But sports, they are really relying on the NFL, and viewership is down. So we're going to watch what they say about that. Good to see you, Yeah, you. same here.